hey guys so in this video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the really good techniques and tips that i actually took away from lucia's procreate tutorial i'll be giving a link down in the description so that you guys can watch it as well i've been getting lucia's tutorial on my youtube feed a lot these days so i decided to follow one of her tutorial not even follow i just watched it and i got really inspired by this tutorial and i actually um, took away a lot of techniques and tips that I really liked uh, from her process and I actually kind of noted it down in my diary and I decided to make a tutorial where I actually show you guys those techniques and how I used it and how my illustration came out to be so that is what this video is gonna be about so yeah without any further ado let's just jump right into the video and let's just see how the illustration comes out to be okay guys so the very first thing is to make sure you keep all your rough sketches but that I mean as you guys can see this is like really really rough and this is the stage where I'm actually deciding how the illustration is gonna look by the way this illustration is also kind of inspired by Louis and also Sarah tapes so it is kind of a mixture of both so uh, what I basically do is I always have this really base really rough looking sketch and then I go ahead and do my main sketch line thing and so when I watched her tutorial she actually kept the rough sketch with her both of them like the main sketch lines and the rough sketch lines i hope this is making sense and she kept it because um according to her uh, it actually adds a lot of you know movement to the illustrations and i kind of liked that tip so what you have to do is you have to um basically keep uh the rough sketch but make sure you are reducing the opacity of that rough sketch um by 61 percent and then you are going to be merging that with your main sketch lines and that's how she actually explained it in that tutorial i will link that tutorial obviously in the description you can just go ahead and watch now that you have your sketch lines what you want to do is you want to pick up a really random color and you have to start painting the whole sketch with that random color only so yeah before i move ahead and explain it further one more thing you want to uh, change the layer mode of your sketch lines to multiply i'm talking about the merge layer when where you actually merge the main sketch line with your rough sketch lines and you want to make sure that layer is in multiply layer mode now here you want to just pick up one random color and you just have to just start painting it all with this color only with one color only and the color can be anything now once you have that colored layer with you what you want to do is you want to play around with hue saturation brightness or color balance and just ignore the notifications that I'm getting on my screen, all right? Yeah, I do follow Coach Corey and I don't know if you guys follow him or not. So yeah, here, uh, just play around with hue, saturation, brightness. You can also play around with color balance and curves. That's up to you. So basically, here you wanna see um, in which direction you wanna go color-wise for your illustration. And I kind of really liked this um, tip i don't want to call it a tip because it's her process and that's how she you know creates illustrations and i really liked it because i realized i in my illustration process i never actually ever played around with these features like hue changing the hue changing the saturation of the whole illustration or changing the brightness or exposure and stuff like that i never played around with those things and i always had this set palette for my illustration which was actually keeping me restricted so that's the one thing i really really liked the fact that i just colored the whole illustration with just one color and decided in which direction i'm gonna go with this illustration i really liked this tip you guys i mean when i was following her tutorial i was like damn i should follow this you know technique or tip or whatever you want to call it also she also um changes uh color of the sketch lines that she has so as you guys can see i'm changing the color of my sketch line here in this illustration and it actually really changed the whole illustration for me and i really liked it even though everything is so pink right now because i don't know what mood i was in when i was painting this but yeah i really liked this tip as well this technique as well because again i always you know kind of stick around with the same colored sketch lines same color palettes and stuff like that i was not really playing around with colors and 
that was you know kind of restricting me i hope this is making sense you guys so yeah i I'd highly recommend you guys to watch that tutorial by the way all right guys the next thing is to choose color which are really close to the base color to add shadows and highlights and i hope you guys can see that little icon over that squared color wheel and that will just help you guys to kind of compare the color you are choosing with the base color and that's what Louis was uh, explaining in her uh, tutorial i hope i am saying her name or pronouncing her name correct so yeah as you guys can see i'm adding um shadows and also highlights later in the video with colors which are really close to the base color it was kind of difficult for me to kind of transition into this process because my process is a lot different from what I'm doing right here. I always uh, have this set color palette while I'm painting an illustration and this was, uh, it seemed really easy. Honestly, you guys, it just, it was so easy and effortless to do. Even though the illustration that I am drawing here and the one she was drawing in her tutorial, obviously she is just amazing at what she does. Uh, and my illustration is not really close to what she did because I'm not really used to this process. So the whole thing I was getting out of that tutorial is that less really is more. And most of the times I'm just stuck with details in my illustrations, you know, and perfecting those details. And that is just making my whole process a lot more complex than it should be. So that's what I really learned out of the tutorial that uh, she does everything so effortlessly. Her process was so easy, even though the results she got and the results I'm getting here are really obviously so different. She is really good at it. But then again, I mean, if you like this process, you can just go ahead and practice it and practice, practice, practice. Maybe you get something really good out of it. Maybe you create your own little process. But I really like the fact that she plays around with the colors a lot. The next thing is merge colored layer with the sketch lines. Now, once you're kind of happy with the coloring and everything and you think that you're not gonna, you know, add more color or stuff like that, then what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and merge all the layers with your sketch lines and before you do that you want to make sure you are keeping a duplicate copy of that or of those layers just group them and duplicate it and then maybe you can merge it make sure that you're merging those layers once you're happy with all the coloring part now here i actually made a mistake i was not done with my coloring the whole coloring process and i merged all the layers so you don't want to do that you want to make sure you're happy with the colors and here i was actually trying to add some kind of light i was kind of you know i just wanted to do, do something fancy to the illustration but i also wanted to add some color to the background but actually it didn't look good so the reason you want to do that the reason you want to merge your colored layer with the sketch lines so that you can actually make adjustments to the whole layer adjustment as in the same thing the hue saturation brightness color balance curves and stuff like that and that is the reason why you want to merge those layers but before you do that make sure you are keeping a copy of every layer as in a group and as you guys can see i also added highlights to the face because i i wanted to add my own touch to the illustration and so that is the reason why i did that so yeah guys at this point i was just you know playing around with different shadows highlights and also uh, adjustments that procreate has and i was just doing that so at this point that, that's what you want to do that is the main thing here obviously i'm not explaining each and every step that i'm doing in this video i'm just um, telling you guys or showing you guys the techniques or tips that I took away from the tutorial and how I'm using those in the illustration and uh, the results that I'm getting out of that. One more thing that um, she told in her tutorial and that's something that I also already do always is that to add some sort of light on the face just to make it look more three-dimensional as you guys can see that blue light on her face now the last thing is to play with filters i never ever played with any of the filters procreate has and that is something i am uh not so happy about because yeah why not if procreate has such great filters then you should be playing around with those as well so i didn't actually you know end up using any filter in my illustration by the way 
but there's no harm in playing around with them you never know how your illustration may end up looking so you should always always at least give some filters a try when you are creating a artwork so that's that and obviously this tutorial is for procreate users because we are using procreate even though you can actually use these techniques and tips in any software it doesn't really matter and the main thing that i actually took away from her tutorial is that less really is more and you should always always play around with colors you should not be restricting yourself with colors you should just always go crazy with colors and that's these are two major things that i actually took away from her tutorial and that i'm going to be incorporating in my own process i mean i'm not going to give up my own process because i don't know i'm just really comfortable with that but i'm just going to incorporate new techniques in my own process and kind of create my own thing out of that so that's what i'm trying to say i hope this is making sense and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys are taking away from this tutorial or from Louis's tutorial and let me know your favorite tip or technique and yeah if you do create something out of this tutorial or any of my other tutorials and tag me on instagram i really really like um looking at your artworks and i really appreciate that other than that i will see you guys in the next video